Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. We give God all the praise. Amen. We thank God for another day. We thank God for a new month. Hallelujah. God has been good. God has been merciful. By his special grace, we have all seen the month of September. Hallelujah. By his grace, we have all seen the month of September. And it is a blessing and a privilege. Somebody had all the money. Somebody had all the connections, thinking that his life or her life could be saved. But the money, the connections could not save them. But by the grace of God, we are not better off than them. It is just by grace. It is just by mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. In just some few seconds, I want us to thank God for the grace, the privilege to see this new man. Somebody pray, pray, and thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. It is a privilege. It is a privilege. It is just by his grace and his mercies. Oh, somebody bless the name of the Lord this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise, Lord, on behalf of my family, on behalf of my husband, but on behalf of my children, oh, on behalf of all those connected to me, my relatives, Father, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you for the privilege, thank you for the grace to see yet another new man. Unto you be every praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I always tell us when you wake up to see a new day, don't take it for granted. Don't think it is by your strength. Don't think it is because you are eating the right food or you are taking the right medicine. No, it is just by grace. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say thank you to our daddy, my husband, for this privilege. Hallelujah. To share the word of God with all of us. We welcome all our live stream viewers our live stream audience will welcome you all. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, we are Kingdom Harvesters Ministries. Hallelujah. We are Kingdom Harvesters Ministries. We are touching life through the gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And also touching lives by helping the needy and all those who need it. Hallelujah. Amen. We welcome all of you in-house as well god bless you amen let's share a word of prayer let's share a word of prayer father we thank you for this morning as we have gathered to share your word we pray lord that you will speak to us in the mighty name of jesus in our season of traveling to bedford father we pray that you will give us a deeper understanding of the season we find ourselves in in jesus name Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless all of you. Hallelujah. Throughout the week, it has been powerful. It has been awesome. Amen. If we want to do a recap, the whole time will go. Amen. But God bless all those who have been leading so far. Hallelujah. Amen. Travel to bed forth. Travel to bed forth. Isaiah chapter 66. Verse 7 to 9, I read. Isaiah 66, 7 to 9. Before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who had heard such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion traveled, for as soon as KHM traveled, for as soon as Dockers traveled, for as soon as you put your name there, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to birth and not cause to bring forth, saith the Lord. Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, saith 
thy God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are in the season of birthing forth. And when we go through our scriptures and our documents and everything, travel, travel means true in the Hebrew or kill. Amen. And it means to twist or well to read in pain, especially of patrician or fear to wait. Hallelujah. These are all the meanings of travel. Amen. I took some, I left some. Hallelujah. And so to read in pain when we talk about travel. Especially of patrician, when you are going to give birth, labor, pain, or fear, to wait. Have you been waiting, expecting a miracle? You are traveling. To bear, to bring forth, to drive away. Are you dealing with certain things? You don't want to see them again, but they keep on appearing. You are traveling. Hallelujah. Grievously with pain. Grieve. Some of us, we are always crying. When we see people, we wipe their tears and we start smiling. Are you grieving or grieving? Hope. Are you hoping against hope? Believing God for that miracle. Hoping against hope. You are traveling. Be in pain or sorrow. Trembling. Trembling. Some of us, when we see certain signs, we tremble. When we see certain people, we tremble. When we hear certain knocks on our doors, we tremble. And we ask ourselves, when will these things be over? Hallelujah. Amen. Travel, there is another word for travel, which means tikto. And tikto means to produce from seed. To produce from seed as a mother. Amen? And so you take in seed and then you go through the three trimesters. And at the end of the day, you are believing the Lord to give birth. A plant, a plant, you put it in the soil, it germinates, and it also starts growing. The earth, the earth receiving people and then people also departing from the earth. To be born, to bring forth, to be delivered, travel, to be delivered. Are you under any form of oppression? Travel also means Odino. Odin or Odino. And it means to experience the pains of patrician. To experience the pains of patrician. To travel in birth. A pang or throw. Especially of child birth. Pain, sorrow, travel. Hallelujah, travel. And so when we talk about travel, traveling is a precursor to the birthing forth of your destiny. Or traveling precedes the birthing forth of your destiny. Hallelujah. The betting forth of your destiny. We are talking about traveling. We are talking about betting forth. Hallelujah. Yes, apart from those believing God for the fruit of the womb. If you are believing the Lord for the fruit of the womb, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord remember you this month. Amen. May the Lord remember you this month and grant you the desire of your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord remember you. Amen. So traveling is a precursor or it precedes the birthing forth of your destiny. And so it is not just literally giving birth. Hallelujah. Yes, that one is part of it. But we all carry a seed in us. 
Hallelujah. We all carry a seed in us. God has put something special in each and every one of us. We all have our USPs. Amen. We all have our unique selling propositions. We all have our unique talents. There is something special about you. There is something special in you. You have a gift I don't have. I have a gift you don't have. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I remember that he's saying that that is why we must not compare ourselves one to another. Hallelujah. Have you seen a woman in labor? Have you been to the labor room before? And the pain, your child is about coming forth. And then you are stretching your neck to see how other people's babies look like. Whether their babies are nice or their babies are not nice. Then it means you are not in labor pain. Hallelujah. It means you are not filling the pants of birthing forth. Hallelujah, because when you are at the point of betting forth, all you want to do, all you want to see is that that baby in you, that treasure you are carrying has come forth. Hallelujah, if you are really traveling, if you are really in pain, you want to see that baby bet forth, you want to see that miracle bet forth. You won't even see that this person has helped me or that person has done that. Because all your focus is on you betting for it's on you seeing that baby come out. Hallelujah. Amen. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are going to bet forth. We are going to bring forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That which we have been waiting for, that which we have been praying about, traveling also means praying, praying, praying until something happens, praying until you see God move on your behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want us to go back to the scripture we just read and then we will move on from there. Amen. Hallelujah. It says that before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Before you travel, you will bet forth. Hallelujah. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who had had such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? It means that what God is about to do in your life is a wonder. It is a wonder. Hallelujah. It is something that will amaze even you yourself. It is something that will amaze people. Some of us, we don't even know what we carry. We don't even know what we carry. And so we are there, ah, eh, and then, and then this, and why are they worrying me? And why are they doing this? And why are they troubling me? Hallelujah. The other day I was talking to a sister, said, Mommy, but this thing, I don't even know what is inside. And then all this trouble and all this problem. I said, ah, ah, you K-H-M-I-T. you don't know what is inside. Hallelujah. Are you expecting to know what is inside before the enemy is worrying you? Great people attract satanic attacks. Hallelujah. Great people attract satanic attacks. Hallelujah. It says, who had heard such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? It means that that blessing, that miracle, that child that you are about to bet forth is going to be sudden. Hallelujah. It's going to be sudden. It's going to be sudden. And it's going to happen at once. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, shall a nation be born at once? The thing might look impossible to men. But with God, all things are possible. Even you yourself, you might think that mm, this thing is far away. This miracle is far off. But with God, 
all things are possible. Hallelujah. For as soon as Zion traveled, for as soon as the children of God prayed, for as soon as the people of God traveled, for as soon as Dockers traveled, for as soon as Kingdom Harvesters Ministries traveled, she brought forth her children. She brought forth her children, not even just a child. You might be carrying twins. You might be carrying triplets. You might be carrying quadri is it quadruplets. And on and on it goes. Hallelujah. Amen. But whether it is one child, whether it is ten children, whether it is hundred children, we are going to bed forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, shall I bring to birth and not cause to bring forth? Shall I bring to birth and not cause to bring forth? Shall I put a seed in you? Shall I cause you to be pregnant and not bring forth? Sayeth the Lord. Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? Sayeth thy God. Our God does not shut our womb. Hallelujah. If God is doing that, then it is to test you. And even that, you will know that God is taking me through a school. God will not bring you this far to let you down. Unless the answer to that situation is a no or it is a wait. And so, we are going to bed forth in the name of Jesus Christ. It says, Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? Say thy God. Our God is not a wicked God. Hallelujah. To bring you this far to and then to fail you or to bring you this far and then to let you down. No, that is not the God that we serve. Hallelujah. That is not the God that we serve. Says for as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth her children. As we travel today, may the Lord cause you to bet forth your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray. If you are watching us for the first time, we are having our monthly, ending our monthly holy convocation. Amen. And so it is not the normal straight, straight preaching. Amen. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. It says, shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? It means that when God has not shut, no man can shut. Hallelujah. Amen. But sometimes due to our positions and due to our standing, certain things happen. Hallelujah. Certain things happen. A great and effectual door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. Amen. And so you are trying to open the door. You are trying to bed forth. And then the dragon appears and opens its mouth. Amen. Those of us who have been following Revelation 12, Friday and Saturday, Pastor Thompson took us through very powerful time of prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. The dragon just appears and he wants to take the baby away from you. But we are going to pray in a short while. Any door, any door that is ours, any door that is supposed to be opened unto us, but has been shut by the enemy. All the uh, adversaries are pushing. You are opening and they are trying to close. We are standing in the name and in the blood of Jesus. And we are commanding those doors to be opened right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Any door that has been shut. We are commanding them to be opened. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says whatever we bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever we lose here on earth shall be loose there. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare any door that is ours, any door that is supposed to be opened unto ours, uh, to us and has been shut by the enemy. Father, we command those doors to be opened right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Doors of opportunity, so God, that are for us, that the enemy is preventing us from entering. Heavenly Father, we declare those doors open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare those doors open in the 
the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the womb literally that has been shut. We command that womb to be opened right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All our struggles in life is due to what we are carrying. Hallelujah. The situations, the problems. Let's go to John chapter 16, verse 21. John 16, 21. A woman, when she is in travail, had sorrow because her hour is come. A woman, when she's in travail, had sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. A woman, when she's in travail, has sorrow because her hour is come. Your hour has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My hour has come to Bedford. Your hour has come to Bedford. Hallelujah. Some of us, we have been praying. We have been believing God for certain things. We have been believing God for certain doors to be opened. We have been believing God for certain breakthroughs. Hallelujah. Amen. The hour has come. A woman, when she's in travail, has sorrow. Because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man or a child is born into the world. Hallelujah. May the Lord cause you to forget all your pain as you are betting for your miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember about four years ago or five years ago, I was there and then a daughter of ours called, the, the husband called and then said, ah, mommy, your daughter is in labor. Okay, put her on video. We prayed. Let's pray. And when they put on the video, I saw my daughter with her drip and everything on her. Then she, she was going around and they were playing a song. And then all I could hear, is it working? It's working. Is it working? It's working. I believe she'll be laughing by now. Is it working? And my daughter was, is trying to dance, was trying to dance, but the dance too was not dancing. And the way she was even singing the song, I'm like, what are you doing? So, oh, mommy, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. He says, but as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembers 
regret no more the anguish for joy that a child is born. May the Lord do a miracle in your life. May the Lord cause you to beg for your children that you will forget about your sorrow, that you will forget about your pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, some of us, we have been through a lot. We have been through so much. We have been through so much. And you ask yourself, when will my story turn around? When will my story change? May the Lord turn things around to your advantage in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord turn, turn things around to your advantage in the mighty name of Jesus. That situation that has caused you pain, that situation that has caused you to have sleepless nights. Oh, may the Lord turn the situation around and may the Lord put a new song on your lips. May the Lord cause you to laugh in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. You are great. You are carrying a great seed inside of you. And because of that, the dragon, the dragon, the dragon knows that once you put to bed, he's going to be in trouble. And that is why he's trying to hinder you. He's using frustration. He's trying to frustrate you. He's trying to torture you. He's bringing failures. He's bringing disappointments, near success experiences, and all that. But we declare that no more in the name of Jesus Christ. No more. You are carrying a great sin. You are carrying a great miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it is time. It is time. It is time to bed forth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Some of us, the situations that we have been through, it has made us to become something else. Hallelujah. It has made us to become something else. I know of a lady some years back, very beautiful woman. And when you meet this woman and she starts telling you her story, she would talk and talk and talk, and I remember there was a day this woman said that, I'm not like this. She was talking to pastor said, Daddy, I'm not like this. This was not me. All those who knew me, you can ask from them. I am a very quiet person. I am somebody who always wants to be in my corner. But look at what marriage has done to me. Look at me today. Everywhere I go, I am talking. Even children, when I see them, I start talking to them because of what I am going through. May the Lord turn your situation around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of us, we have had BP because of situations that we have gone through or we are going through. Some of us, there is nothing like joy. There is nothing like peace. But may the Lord turn your situation around as you bet forth today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of us, because of what we are going through, we have even lost our confidence. We have lost our self-esteem. We are always playing pity party. We don't even believe in ourselves anymore. But may the Lord come through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That seed that you are carrying, that greatness that you are carrying, you will bear it forth in the name of Jesus Christ. That anointing that you are carrying, you will bear it forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That anointing, that blessing, you will bear it forth. That ministry, that business, you will bear it forth in the name of Jesus. That marriage, you will bear it forth in the the name of Jesus Christ, happiness and peace in that marriage. Oh, you will bet it forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, academic excellence, you will bet it forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you, you were so intelligent. So, so intelligent. But along the line, what you are even reading, you don't understand. It's not like you have you you are you let me bring the balance. It's not like you are not studying. You are studying, but you realize that still it's like coconuts, they have put something in your head. That thing is not going. 
May the Lord cause you to bet for academic excellence in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Travel to Bedford. Travel to Bedford. I need a midwife. Daddy preached this message last year. I need a midwife. Hallelujah. Amen. When you go to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 23, it says that by faith, by faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child. Moses, when he was born, he was hidden for three months because his parents saw that he was a proper child. That seed in you is a proper child. Hallelujah. That miracle in you is a proper child. That blessing in you is a proper child. That talent, that USP is a proper child. Hallelujah. And you will bet for in the name of Jesus Christ. You must bet for. You must bet for. Hallelujah. God has done his part. We also have a role. Our will, our mind, our faith has a lot to do with our betting for. Hallelujah. Our will, our faith, our mind, it has a lot to do with our betting for. And so position yourself well so that you will bet for in the name of Jesus Christ. I must bet for in the name of Jesus Christ. And you must bet for. Hallelujah. Amen. By faith, Moses, when he was born, he was seated because he was a proper child. That gift you have is a proper child. That beautiful smile of yours. It's a proper child. You don't know where it will take you to. That politeness is a proper child. It can open doors for you. That business idea is a proper child. You will bet forth. That career is a proper child. You will bet forth. You will bet for souls as well. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You will bet for souls. You will win souls for Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of us, we don't want to hear that. But it is part of our calling as a child of God. Amen. Every Christian, every child of God, every kingdom child, you are supposed to bet for souls for the kingdom of of God. Amen. That child is a proper child and you will bet forth. Amen. And because that child in you is a proper child. Hallelujah. Like Moses. Moses became a deliverer. He delivered. God used him to bring the children of Israel out of bondage. Because that seed in you, that gift in you, that talent in you is a proper child. When you go to Romans 8, 19, Bible says that the whole world is waiting for your manifestation. It's waiting for your betting forth. As you delay, as you delay in betting forth, as you delay in betting forth, you are delaying the miracles of others. You are delaying the blessings of others. That is why you must bet forth. There are a lot of people in the queue waiting to enter into the, the, the labor world. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When I was reading Hebrews 11, 23, by faith, Moses, when he was hid, hallelujah, for three months, Moses was hidden for three months. Amen. When you go to the book of um, Exodus chapter 1, you realize that Moses, when Moses was born, before Moses was born, the king Pharaoh, Bible says that there came a king who didn't know Joseph. And the king Pharaoh, he increased the task or the work task, the workforce of the work task of the Israelites. And so they were making them work day and night. And still, Bible says that the children of 
Israel, they were increasing. They were blessed. Look at all that you are going through. But when people see you, ah, you are looking beautiful. Oh, you look gorgeous. Oh, can you lend me this money? Can you lend me that? Look at you yourself, you know that your pocket is empty. It is a blessing. Hallelujah. It is a blessing. And so, Pharaoh saw that no matter what they were doing to the children of Israel, they were still increasing. And so they called on the midwives. Two midwives. And then they told them that, look, when the Israelites come here to give birth, if the child is a male child, make sure you kill that child. Don't let the woman come out of the labor room, the child come out of the labor room. Make sure that child is killed. But the Bible says that these women, they feared God. And so they refused to do that. And when they were questioned, they said that, look, the Hebrew women, they are not, they are not like the Egyptian women. Even before we, we come, before we come to the birth stool, they have already given birth. And so there is no way for us to even kill their children. Bible says that because the midwives did that, God blessed the midwives. Hallelujah. Amen. And why am I mentioning the midwives? In our season of birthing forth, we need the assistance of midwives. Hallelujah. And this midwife or this midwife we need in our lives is the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit to assist us. By our own strength, we cannot make it. Bible says that the Holy Spirit, He will teach us our truth. He is the comforter. He is our healer. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, He will guide you. He will lead you. Amen. And so, we need the Holy Spirit to assist us. We need the Holy Spirit to undergird us. We need the Holy Spirit to lead us. Hallelujah. When you go to Genesis 1 verse 2, Bible says that the earth was a void. And the Spirit of God brood over the earth. And God said, let there be light. We need the Holy Spirit in our lives. We need more of the Holy Spirit to be able to deal with certain things, to be able to travel and bed forth without the pharaohs coming to kill our children. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Ghost has that propensity, is it put that has the potency or the power of sitting on us. When you go to Acts chapter 2, verse 3, the Holy Spirit sat on the disciple. Hallelujah, on the disciples or the apostles. Your charisma is nothing without the character of the Holy Ghost. Your charisma is nothing without the character of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, or without the fruit of of the Holy Spirit or the fruit of the Spirit. We need Him more than ever before. The Holy Spirit is our midwife. He is the one to assist us. He is the one to aid us. He is the one to tell us that, hey, push, push. And as you push, the baby comes forth. Some of the midwives are so skilled that even when the baby is breathed, some of them have a way of turning the head of the baby and by the time you realize you have delivered, may your midwife come in the name of Jesus Christ. May the, your midwife come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Why am I saying may your midwife come to you? Because the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. The Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He will not force himself on you. Hallelujah. He will not force himself on you. Some of us, we are praying, but the Holy Spirit is not in us. Some of us, we are praying, but we don't have the seed of the Holy Spirit. Some of us, we are praying, but we don't have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will invite the Holy Spirit into your life. You will allow the Holy Spirit to sit on you. Hallelujah. You will allow the Holy Spirit to sit on you so that you'll be able to bear forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen.
then you need the Holy Spirit more than ever before. You need him. If you can connect to the midwife, who is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will help you to bed forth that which you are carrying. Hallelujah! That thing you are carrying, that industry, that business, that healing, that you are believing the Lord for, that miracle, that financial breakthrough, it will be bed forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! The Holy Ghost is our midwife. I pray that the Holy Ghost will come over us. Amen. Before we continue, let us pray. The Holy Ghost, you are my wind midwife. Come over me and sit on me in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit, you are my midwife. Come over my life. Help me in the name of Jesus. You are my intercessor. Come in the name of Jesus. Help me. Energize me. Refuel me. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Pray and call on the Holy Spirit. Pray and call on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our midwife. The Holy Spirit is the one who will help us to bed forth. He is the one who will assist us to bed forth. Oh, somebody pray. Desire the Holy Spirit. Desire him. Desire him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, pray the Holy Spirit. When I can't push, oh, help me. In the name of Jesus Christ, help me sit on me so that I can push. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, oh, Holy Spirit, we need you. Holy Spirit, sit on my issue. What is that issue? What is that thing that is troubling you? Call on the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, my me Wife, sit on my issue, sit on my issue in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You cannot die with your miracle, you cannot die with your miracle, you cannot die with your miracle, you cannot give birth to wind. After all this pushing, after all this suffering, you cannot give birth to win. Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, in my new season, I will birth forth my proper child. I will birth forth my proper child. I refuse to give birth to win. I refuse to give birth to win. In the name of Jesus, I will give birth to my miracle. In the name of Jesus, I will give birth to my blessing. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I will give birth to my proper child. I will give birth to my miracle. I will give birth to my blessing. In the name of Jesus, with the help of the midwife, with the help of the midwife, I will give birth to my miracle. I will give birth to my proper child. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need the Holy Spirit more than ever before. We need Him. Hallelujah. All around us, there is pressure. All around us, there is chaos. Wherever you go, there is economic war. Everywhere. Hallelujah. Everywhere. Europe, Ghana, everywhere. Economic action. But we are going to bed forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere we go, the system is telling on us. But we are going to bet for our blessings in the name of Jesus. We declare that may your suffering bet for a miracle. Hallelujah. May your suffering bet for a miracle. You will not give birth to win in the name of Jesus. Amen. I remember that he's saying that your pain will pay you. Don't just go through the pain. Don't just go through the pain. But may your pain pay you. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. May my pain pay me. In the name of Jesus, may you not go through that pain in vain. May you not go through that labor pain in vain. In the name of Jesus, may.
May your pain pay you. May your pain pay you. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't drop that dream. Don't drop that dream. Hallelujah. Don't drop that dream that you are carrying. Don't drop that anointing. Don't drop that business idea. Don't drop it. Don't drop that anointing. Don't drop that grace that is upon you. Don't drop that talent. Don't drop that gift. Hallelujah. I pray that the Holy Spirit will overshadow us as we bed forth in this new man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Pray and tell the Lord that, Lord, in this month of September and beyond, I'm going to bed forth in the name of Jesus. I will bed forth my dreams. I will bed forth my miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody pray. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that the month of September will be gracious unto you. Pray that the month of September will be good unto you and your entire family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that the month of September will be a month of blessings, a month of laughter, a month of joy to remember. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Christ in the name of Jesus pray the wind that blows in the month of September pray that the wind will blow to your favor it will blow to your advantage the rains the sun all the elements of the earth they will support you even the ground on which you walk it will support you it will favor you in the name of Jesus somebody pray in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we pray Lord that the month of September will do us good the month of September will bring us blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. The earth on which we walk on in this month will support us in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray that the Lord will favor your cause as you travel to Bedford. May the favor of God go with you. May the presence of the Lord with the Holy Spirit be with you throughout the month of September and beyond. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that your presence, your Holy Spirit will be with us as we go through the month of September and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Somebody pray that in this month of September, oh, no power, no evil will befall you. No evil will befall your household. No evil will befall any member of your family, your church family. The Lord will protect and preserve each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. All those connected to you, there will be nothing like accident. There will be nothing like impromptu death, premature death. There will be nothing like sicknesses, strange diseases in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, the month of September. Oh, you will protect us. You will preserve us, Lord. No evil will befall us. No evil will befall our loved ones. No evil will befall those that are connected to us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cancel premature death. None will die before their time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cancel accidents. We cancel fire outbreaks. We cancel food poisoning. We cancel all forms of woes and let it be far from us and our children and our husbands, our wives, our loved ones in the name of Jesus. May your presence reign with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you so, so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for today. You have heard the word of God traveling to Bedford. Maybe you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Or maybe, yes, you know him, but you know that, no, you are not intimate with him. You are not serving him the way you have to. You are, Bible says that if you be hot, be hot. If you be cold, be cold. You, you are in between. You cannot be in between. When it comes to serving God, you have to make a decision. You have to make a choice. Bible says, I have set before thee life and death, but choose life 
so that you and your descendants will live. I pray that you will choose life. You will choose salvation. Hallelujah. And so if you have chosen salvation, I want you to lift up your hand in your house, wherever you are, and pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you for your word that has come. Father, I pray that you have mercy on me. Forgive me of all my sins. I am a sinner. I ask that you wash me, you cleanse me with your precious blood. Father, wash me and cleanse me with your blood. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Help me not to go back to my sins, to my old ways. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Today is communion service. Hallelujah. It's communion and seed sowing service. Hallelujah. Amen. I have my grape juice. I have my bread here. Amen. Amen. If you have your bread, if you are, if you are at home, you can take bread. If you have juice, if you have water, if you have anything, if it is tea, anything, you can just take it. They are emblems. They are emblems. Hallelujah. Amen. On the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, he broke it. Amen. He broke it. And he said that this is his body, that we should eat it in remembrance of him. Amen. He took the grape juice and he said that this is his blood. Hallelujah. Whenever we take the bread, the body of Christ and the wine, which is his blood, it is a covenant that we are making with the Lord Jesus Christ. And it is a reminder that he came, he died, and he resurrected for us. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that we should not eat it on wedding day. It is a covenant with God. It says we should not eat it on wedding day. We have just prayed on asking God for mercy. But if you did not pray, asking God for mercy, just pray. Anybody can take the communion once you believe. Hallelujah. Once you believe and you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And so you can just say a short word of prayer. That Lord, as I take this, before I, as I take this communion, wash me, cleanse me from all my sins. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, it means you can take the communion. Amen. Apart from this communion, being a covenant, I can testify that people through the taking of the communion. Through this, God has granted them healing. Tumors have melted. It is all according to your faith, according to your eating. Hallelujah. I have seen, I have heard, I have tasted of it. And so as you take the communion, as you take the body of Christ and you take the blood of Jesus, know that if you are believing the Lord for a miracle, just pray unto the Lord. Pray on the communion, the emblems, and ask the Lord, the Lord, through these emblems, heal me. Through these emblems, open this door for me, and the Lord will do it. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we take your body and your blood, you said this is your everlasting covenant with us, that we should do it in remembrance of you. As we remember you, as we partake of your body and your blood, we pray in the name of Jesus, whatever any one of us is believing you for, whatever has cried, Father, we pray as we take your emblems, Lord, let it be a point of contact that our miracles, our birth in force will take place in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You can now eat the bread. And you can take the wine.
Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. If you have your seed of faith, your special seed of faith, those of us in Kingdom Harvesters, after every, commun after every communion service, we bring our special seed before the Lord. It is a covenant we've had with God. Amen. All these years. I hope you have not broken your covenant. If you have, please restart. Amen. And so you raise your seed of faith. If you have your tithe with you, you can lift it up unto the Lord. We have those of you online. We have our details, Momo details, account details online. You can just go on it and you do the need for us. You are led by the Holy Spirit. Maybe God is even leading you to be a blessing unto this ministry. Just obey the Lord and do it. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have your offering, lift it up also. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have presented, oh God, our seed of faith unto you. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, using it, oh God, as a point of contact that you would touch the needs of your people. Whatever prayer went up, oh God, with this seed, we pray that you will hear an answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you said, oh God, that we should bring our tithe into your storehouse, that there will be food in your house. Even as, oh God, we have pl played our role, our part of the covenant of letting there be meat in your house, we pray that you will meet us at the point of our need also. In the name name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you will do a miracle in the lives of your people and at the end of the day, we'll remember to give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. You can bring your offering, you can put it in the offering bowl. If you are, you can just send your momo and God will bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you for that which you have done. We give you all the praise. We pray. We give you all the honor. We commit the month of September into your hands. We pray that your presence will be with us. Your presence, oh God, will go with us. Your favor will be our portion. Goodness and mercy will follow us throughout, oh God, the month of September. It will be a month of greatness, a month of miracles. We will bet forth our dreams in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for having heard us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. See you again next week, Sunday. God bless you.